Hey there, hi there, hello there, it's post-editing Chotch. I didn't realize until I got to, like, three episodes past this that this particular episode was just really, really bad with my recording audio, so you can barely hear me. I will try to put some subtitles. I don't know how this will go. I will probably just do it through ca- closed captioning because it's going to take even longer if I use my editing program. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I have a couple random little things throughout, and also, this is Treb, by the way, a uh, trebuchet. I-, I-, I never fully introduced them, but they're my Skelisona, because I have a Skelisona. <laughs> right where we left off. I also was rewatching my old stuff. I don't know. I think I'm funny. <laughs> left in my own stupid jokes. Um, alright. The dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. He kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But, as it built, it kept getting more and more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until it was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. <laughs> So I'm gonna try and at least like talk a little bit more because I realize I don't do that. I don't know. I know how to play this game. That's the thing. That's the problem. I play this game so so much. Oh, <laughs> stop. All right. I think I remember how to do this. Let's see. Fudge. Oh. <laughs> it's a it's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in a red marker. It's a snow papyrus. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Oh wait. Duh. Here. 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 All right. So, what what am I gonna get? I think the first time you just get a little pile of snow. So let's see. What do I get? Da 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 da. Can also move my mouse. <gasps> I got a house. Head, house, mouse. It rhymes. <laughs> oh, uh, you know what? I was just gonna say hi to Sage. What's up? This is always creeping me out. Like, why are there eyes here? Sage, are you following me? Oh, it's gift rot. Okay. Gift rot. Let's undecorate. You remove a stocking filled with chicken nuggets. Uh, I'll decorate. I'm gonna move this shirt that says, I'm with stupid and points inwards. There we go. Keep draw it is my new death, irritated. Uh, I'll decorate. Remove the striped key that says, Super nice to everybody. And then this is a secret room. I'm not gonna do the secret boss. Uh, if, like, I don't know, if people. I can't remember how you're supposed to get the secret boss anyway. It's like a glider manatee. No, glider sea pancake thing. Um, and I know the only way to get inside is to uh, do something with the end credits. I think it's to dodge all the end credits. I, as you have seen, am not good at dodging. <laughs> I'm in fact terrible at it. So, are you following me? Yes, Sans, I am in fact following you. You know, it takes you at least a full frame. That's pretty slow for teleportation. Five would do better. <laughs> snow pop. It's a snow pop. So, and this is a snow pop. If you go through all these, you can like go through them out of order. This, however, is a snow pop. You have to go through each and every one 
Surprisingly, it's a snowball. A snowball? Typically, this would be the one. Is it really a snowball? Behold, a snowball. Eh? There's a genie inside. What is this? Wait, it's a snowball. Okay, I am very bad at this next battle, so I'm gonna go heal really quick. Because, again, I'm bad at it. <laughs> oh, I got a hat! So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this really quick. Yeah. Alright, fill me with determination. So <laughs> Alright, what are we gonna get this time? Oop. I <laughs> I didn't do this right. There we go. I just need to make sure I get there. Alright, what am I gonna get? I want I want it I want I want a dog. I want a snow dog. Give me a dog. I got a hat. I do like hats. I don't think I've ever gotten that. Whoa. Cat's here. This is gonna be weird because I'm about to fight, fight, and play with a very large dog. Very small dog. Look at this friend. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Yes. <laughs> God, I love, I love everything about Greater Dog from. Like, back in, we call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flicking slobber into your face. Okay. <laughs> greater dog is seeking attention. Let's pet. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is petted by you. I love greater dog so much. It's so comfortable. Z, 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 Z. Better wakes up. It's so excited. Bark, bark. Oh, shoot. Bark, bark! <laughs> bark, bark! Oh, shoot! I need to, like, pay attention. Greater Dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Let's play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to catch. It splats on the ground. Greater Dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you! No dog is very tired. He rests its head on you. I love Greater Dog. <laughs> Greater Dog wants a TLC. Alright. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. You move it slow, but you still haven't pet enough. <clears throat> Shit. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Pet capacity is 40%. Keep it decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over it with his legs in the air. Bark, bark. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna die. Oh, bark, bark. <laughs> okay. Because I can't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna scare. I love Greater Dog. He's Beth Lepo. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that dog butt. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm bad at this game. However, that's the first time that I did that without dying. So I'm gonna go heal up really quick. Uh, I want, I want Doggo. Give me Dog. Is that, what is that? Oh, I think it's just regular, just snow. I'm just curious, like, what we cross under? Is there, like, a waterfall of snow or something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. As long as we get to that. Alright, I want dog. Give me dog. I want dog. Give me dog. Okay, bird, bird's pretty good. Oh, I've been watching some great, great things on YouTube lately because I finally found the thing that I longed for. <gasps> oh, wait, no, wait. I have to. Okay, let me tell the story really quick and then I'll keep going. But. Cat's here. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's right here. I don't want to do video because I don't want to have to do make myself look nice. <laughs> it's difficult when a person has a feminine expression of themselves. You have to. There's like certain expectations, and you can't just flub it up. I can't. I can't Markiplier it. <laughs> Uh, so I've been watching, I've been watching owl videos a lot. I found a dude who does like, just has a camera for like an, a barn owl nest, which is great. And one of the 
what characters one of the owls name is Galfi, and I'm not sure. I can't. I've never heard of Galfi used outside of like my favorite book series ever of all time. A lot of it is nostalgia. I'll I'll admit that, but I'm a huge fan of Guardians of the Holds. The reason why I love owls so much. They're cute. They're so doofy. They're 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 birds that are just cats. Okay, love owls. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Uh, we're almost- we're almost to a pretty big point, actually. You! Oh, wait. <laughs> you, man! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold the Godslave of Deadly Terror! Honestly, that doggo is like- like, if you kept that dog there forever, I would actually stay forever. When I say the word, when I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice, each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Uh, well, what's the holdup? Hold up, hold up. I'm about to activate it now. Seriously, the pirate should drop the dog and I will stay there forever. But, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems me too easy to defeat with the human. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Anyway, away it goes. Oh no, Papa, no. <sighs> what are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, let's do a really quick thing. Cause um, hi, saw you. <laughs> If you can't tell, Papyrus is one of my favorite characters to just, like, talk in the voice of, even if I'm not the greatest at it. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. You sneaky little shit. <laughs> Welcome to Snowden Town. I love Snowden Town. Just, it's cute. It's simple. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Do, 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 do. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, I can, I can afford that. And then... Let's get some new bicycles. And... Oh. Alright. Bye now. Come again sometime. I should probably do her voice. <laughs> the sight of such a friendly town fills me with determination. Alright, what do we have in my pockets? Yes. Um, oh wow, I have actually like a lot of stuff. I'm gonna put this in here for now. Um, butterscotch pie. Alright, let's use the manly bandana. Traveler, how can I help you? Let's get a cinnamon bun, because those are tasty, and some bicycles. Uh, yeah, we got one more. Alright, uh, say hello, care to chat? Hiya, welcome to Snowden Town. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What do you want to do here? What do you want to do with... You want to know what to do in here in Snowdown? Snowden? <laughs> Grilby has Grilby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. I don't know why I'm giving her, like, country... Not even country, like, kind of cowboy? I don't know, my default is cowboy. 
Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, they all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of their caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they like they liked the cold and set up a camp. Set up a camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages. So, unless you're about you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. So how did the froggets get in there? Because I don't think they can burr unless I mean I guess. So does that also mean like the wind suns wind suns are like super tiny? Because like they're obviously too weak to like be in there, but there is a way in through the. Ca I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> My life, life is the same as usual. A little cap claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom's coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? All right. I know. Come again sometime. Okay, another thing I do appreciate about this game is that you can't sell stuff. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Uh, and like, you can't sell stuff until you go to the one game, like, fourth wall breaking character in the entire game. Which is a really, like, it's a, it's such a silly little, uh, it's such a silly thing, but I love it so much. <laughs> I don't have enough money for the inn, I don't. Uh, do I? I think it's 50G. Welcome to Snowed Inn! Snowed Inn's stores? Oh yeah, I don't have one night. Feel free to come back anytime. Can I go upstairs? No, I can't. I can't talk to it. Wait, can I talk to Small Boy? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? So basically, you, like, what I like about this is that, like, if you have the money to start, you're good, but if you don't, then you're kind of screwed. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Hee <laughs> hee. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Honestly, same. She has real, either she has really short shorts, which no no shade, like it's just weird, or like, oh no, she's wearing a double shirt. It's also just. I don't, I don't know. She's a rabbit walking another rabbit, and all animals seem to have intelligence. And I don't know. It's weird. Sorry, I gotta move my arm. <laughs> Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents in a new decorated tree. I like how it's like kind of non-denominate. Is that the word? I can't think. <laughs> I'm great at these things. Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell you because you're wearing a striped shirt. I gotta give him a voice that I remember because I, yeah. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, the skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. I mean, I guess? My mind immediately is just like, fish lady? Fish man. Carmichael. I don't know, I like that character. I wish they would give them more in, in uh, Umbrella Academy. I like how they use- oh man, I forgot that Curly doesn't really have a song, but no matter where I go, it's the same menu. The same people. Help! I want new drinks and ha uh, ha uh, hot guys. They need, just need to go to Hotland. I don't know what to tell you. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. You would really love the gems. For some reason. Like, it's weird, because, like, to some extent, there's, like, certain things. The jukebox is broken. Then how are we listening to the music stanzas on the pin? I mean, that's true, but. The capital's getting pretty crowded. So I've heard they're going to start moving here. Mm, I don't want to see our the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some of their. some city flickers slip them to their butts. That is such a mood, except, like, I guess here 
in AZ, it's um, seeing like people from other states where it's typically cooler, like wearing so little amounts of clothing, but they're still like dying in the heat while like a typical Arizonan is just like wearing jeans and a t-shirt completely covered. And we're like, fine, we're sweating, but we're fine. <laughs> I might just keep talking about myself. I'm literally wearing a black shirt and black pants. Like, just, just continuously. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put a line out for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. I mean, like, so long as there's consent, man. Those darts are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Is that... I mean, you're not wrong. That is in fact exactly what... Like... Yeah. <laughs> Grilby said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he's in touch with stuff. Grilby is actually one of my favorite characters. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. He's like my favorite side character. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Shipping is like half a thing that I, I'm into, but also not. Also, did you notice that, that Frisk's hair is like the exact same color as the table, so you just disappear into the table? <laughs> uh, but I, I like... I don't ship too many things, but there's like one that's like kind of a crack ship, I guess, that I'm pretty pretty fond of. The only thing I like ship pretty hard like is the cannon stuff, but that's canon. Uh, I, I really like Sans and Grillby. Just like I I read like a really long fic, long not long ago. I reread it recently, but there's a very long fic series where it was just like one shots and stuff that I uh, I think it's I think it's called Fired Up and Bone Weary. Pretty good. It's just the Sans and Grilby just like kind of chilling. <laughs> it's a really, it's really cute. And there's like one, there's a one shot where everything's reset, and that hurts. Anyway, good. <laughs> I love Greater Dog. <laughs> Greater Dog is so good. I'm thinking about thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach leash to me and take me for a walk, please. I'll take you for a walk. Come with me. Come with me. You better watch where, you're, where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. So, where's the seat? I want to, I want to, I want to. Greater duck. Like, this game promises so much, but it doesn't deliver. I want I want a friend like Raider Dog, but I want more sand <laughs> For centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would there was a bone. I love bones. Oh, I love them. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything. So why be morose about it? Man, like that, that's, a, that's nice. Ah, what a beautiful knock. And if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, maybe Hitchens rewards me. again. Wait. Oh, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. You are gonna make me be a human again, are you? Let's play Monsters and Humans. I read that out of order. I've always wanted to talk to this guy. Like, you work so hard, man, just continuously. I love that animation. Jeez. Like, the art of this game is really great. I know it's all pixely, but it's so good. I will come to you. One day I will see you. The library! I love the library. 
Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the spell is the sign is misspelled. That looks in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumbo, aren't you? I love working on the newspaper. There's so little report that we just fill it with comics and games. Cover. When I was younger, the teachers would give me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one worst search creator in the entire underground. That is actually like something. It hits really hard. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say. Monsters are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Whoa. <laughs> that. I forgot that's a thing. Alright. I'm not going to go through all the books because they tell, like, history and stuff. Um, I should keep going. Oh, Sans. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Yes. It's empty. I want to leave him a letter. It's locked. Can I go in? Oh, it's locked. <laughs> this is locked too. It's locked from the inside. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Alright. You ready for this? You ready for this? Oh yeah. We're gonna have some fun. Got it. Got to get to my boy. Ow. My leg. My leg? That's my arm. I remember the body parts. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another puzzles, another's puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what it, what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Um, so... <laughs> oh, I love him so much. My goal is to not die. <laughs> What? Flirting? You finally... So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. Um... I can, in fact, make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all of my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date l later, after I capture you. Beep, beep, beep. to wear for its date. Oh no! Let's date li later, after I capture you. Oh yeah, I have to spare him. <laughs> so you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. <laughs> the one thing I'm supposed to do is not move. What do I do? I move. Oh, Papyrus, why did you bring- I'm such a butt. <laughs> You're blue now! That's my attack. <laughs> I love Bone Trifle so much. Such a jam! Mm. I wonder, what should I wear? Oh, look, I should actually try. Papyrus has marinara sauce.
why am I not? <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Let's not. Let's loop speeds. Yes, I know that. I recognize loop. I just suck at this game. Bullet hells are not my thing. And this isn't even a bullet hell. Uh, I'm just to yes! Yeah! Don't make me use my special attack! Give up. I wish I was better at this. 
parts is preparing a bonus one. Not too long and I will use that special attack. Is trying to play it cool. This is your last chance before my special attack. If I survive this. Me? Well, yes, yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Of course. I love this boy. <laughs> I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the real god, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? He's not a loser. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee! We, we haven't even had our first date. I really managed to hit the friend zone. I knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I give my grant you permission to pass the trip. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Then take you forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal, seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can fix it. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fudgy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have her and have that date. <laughs> I'm okay. Like playing through this game, I know that Sans has like levitation powers and all that jazz, and I know like it's implied that Papyrus has like the same powers, but like all of his hijinks are it, it's it's completely explained. Oh. Oh no. Hold up, buddy. I gotta go save. Oh, he even turns around. Oh, oh no. I love, I love this dumb boy. The sight of such a friendly town fills me with determination. Uh, I last saved at like 80. Okay. Since I just finished the Papyrus battle, I'm going to pause here because I think the next part I can get through most of Waterfall and get to a little bit of Undyne, so that's, that's, that's good. Uh, 
I'm sorry that I ended up like rambling about a bunch of other stories and stuff like that throughout this, but I do love a lot of things about Undertale, including a lot of the fandom. And I do have like something to say like later on, is like if I get a chance to just kind of wander around a little bit. And I mean, I know that that will happen eventually, but uh, the, I, I get that like a lot of people don't like the Undertale fandom. I totally get it. It's one of those things where there's a lot of there, when it came out, there was a lot of kids who were into it, there was a lot of really loud voices, and there was a lot of, like, weird stuff. Personally, I think it's great that kids got into it. I'm, I'm glad that this is the kind of game that a lot of people were so excited about and wanted to talk about, especially with the kids. They were super excited about it. I, like, it's a classic game for a reason. And, um... I think it's it was it was just so loud for a lot of other people and a lot of times for a lot of people I know that this is probably one of their first fandoms if not their first fandom everybody gets into stuff if they're like a person who's prone to getting into fandoms they're all going to have like a certain specific thing that gets them into whatever is going to affect them for the rest of their lives for a lot of kids it was Undertale and they didn't know a lot of the things that was kind of expected of older fandom people or people who have been in fandoms and stuff so I excuse a lot of this craziness because a lot of the fandom was young so I don't know anyway I, I went on a bit of a ramble I'm gonna talk about that I guess more in a different time where it's a little bit easier to talk about but uh, with that I do appreciate it if you stuck around I will get this edited and all that jazz and post it in a short while. But thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I'll catch you next time.